morning, Skyhawks. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm Armani, and this is your Hawk Talk News. The end of the year is upon us, and that means it's almost time for the annual Summer Festival. Summer Festival will be during advisory a week from Thursday on May 30th. The event includes games in the fishbowl and outside. There will be snacks and drinks to buy. Yearbooks will also be distributed in the cafeteria. There are limited extra copies to buy for $75, but they will likely sell out quickly. Speaking of books for sale, have you heard about the school's new literary magazine? Southridge is selling copies of Marikai next week during Summer Festival. The book features student artwork and it's written and published by students. This edition celebrates the work of 21 authors and artists. Copies cost $5 each. In the wake of last week's incident at Park Rose High School, we want to remind all students about Safe Oregon. Safe Oregon is an anonymous way to report any student who may be a danger to themselves or others. You can call or text at 844-472-3367. Email safeoregon at tip at safeoregon.com. You can report online on their website or you can even use their mobile app called Safe Oregon. Hey Hawks, summer is coming. Summer school is now open to current grades 8 through 12 and lasts for five weeks beginning June 24th and ending July 25th. Classes meet to Monday to Thursday from 8.30 to 12.20 a.m. If you want to retake a class you found difficult, take an intensive math course to get ahead or get a head start on high school through our 8.5 transitional program, summer school is perfect for you. For more information, contact Mr. Traeger. Are you interested in being a part of the National Honor Society? Students in the National Honor Society have an extra opportunities for scholarships and it looks good to put on a college application. If you are interested, forms are available around the school. Just make sure that you have the form filled out and turned into the NHS basket in Mr. Mills' room by the end of the school day on June 7th. Powder Puff signups were last week and we have teams set for each class. If you didn't know, Powder Puff is where there is one team of girls for each class who compete in a flag football game and go head to head, head, to head with the other classes to see which class is the Powder Puff champion. The Powder Puff games will be this Thursday, 4.30 on the football field. Speaking of sports, our spring sports are coming to a close. We have some updates about how our teams are ending their season. Congratulations to our boys baseball team as they won their first playoff game against Barlow 6-1 yesterday and earned the right to face the number one team in the state, Jesuit, in the second round at 5 o'clock tomorrow. It was just starting to look like the softball team was hitting their stride, having won three of their last six games as of our last show. Then they suffered a crushing seven-game losing streak to close out the season and finishing last in the Metro League. Tough season for softball. Moving on to golf, where the boys finished 6th in Metro. Alex Roberts finished top 10 in Metro and ended up making 2nd team all Metro with a scoring average of 75.5 and, and went to State in Corvallis. He ended up finishing in a tie for 35th out of 90 players. Other notable players on the team are Josh Scott, who finished top 20, and Kilohana Johnson, who finished top 30. For girls golf, the season has come to a close. Congratulations to senior Leanne Fisher for qualifying for State. This is Lowen Menriquez reporting live from above the fishbowl. Back to you, Armani. Three weeks ago, the movie of the year, Avengers Endgame, came out. It broke box office records and was a very popular topic of conversation here at Southridge. Recently, we asked students about their thoughts of the movie. Kids, what was the best part of Endgame? And you can have spoilers. The best part of Endgame was probably when um, Captain America um, had Thor's shield, started beating Thanos with it. That was, that was my favorite part. Best part of Endgame was the part when they all pulled up on Thanos when Doctor Strange came out with all the, all the, um, all the, you know, <laughs> and then everyone just pulled up and unified, ready to fight. It was great. Um, I'd say the scene where the Black Panther walks out out of the little gold thing <laughs> gave me chills. <laughs> I'd say when Spider-Man has the gauntlet and then all the women superheroes come together to um, defend him against Thanos. Um, I think the best part was of Endgame was when um, Captain America came back and he said that it was beautiful when he lived out his life. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. That is all from here at Hawk Talk. Have a great weekend, Skyhawks.